Azul has teamed up with Pyra to combine Azul Platform Prime with Pyra Cube, enabling cordless lift and shift migrations without any refactoring. What makes the combination of Pyra Cube and Azul Platform Prime so effective for cordless lift and shift Java migrations? So most enterprises today, when they look at the Java apps they have on-prem, and the numbers we're hearing now is more than 40% of those Java apps are, are locked on-prem for a lot of good reasons. For an enterprise to move a Java app, particularly a mission-critical, um, revenue-generating uh, kind of application, you often face complexities with that migration because part of the migration usually needs to include a modernization, which usually means that if it's a legacy application that is not being actively developed, you've got to find developers to go back and start retooling that application, which can be difficult. The other is these are important applications to the enterprise. Security is critical. And as enterprises move on-prem apps to the cloud, they have to consider not just security vulnerabilities within the application, but the containers themselves. And the last piece is the risk associated with that migration. The bigger the app, the more complicated the app, the greater the risk is involved in whether they're gonna be successful. And success can be defined in a number of criteria. One can be, did the ROI work? The reason they moved to the cloud was to leverage the benefits. Maybe it's around elasticity. Maybe it's around cost savings. Were they able to capture that? If not, that was a failed effort and will probably make it challenging for enterprises to look at the other uh, percent of applications they have. And if you can also talk about, is this the first time you are working with Pyra or you have an existing relationship with them? So, well, very good point. Uh, we've actually had a six-year history with Pyara. Pyara's uh, heritage has been around replatforming of J2 EE applications. So this is enterprises that want to move off WebLogic server. Maybe they want to move off uh, IBM um, WebSphere. That's an important step to take, particularly because those licensing support costs can be very expensive. So that was their history. When they did that, um, those customers were asking Pyera to also provide a well-supported, well-curated build of OpenJDK to run those applications. Six years ago, we entered into an OEM partnership with Pyera so they could provide those customers with our uh, platform core product, uh, which is uh, the most secure well-curated builds of OpenJDK. So that was the start um, of this partnership. And that has been quite successful. I think more than 80% of their deployments, their customer deployments, leverage our core runtime. When we talk about this partnership, we mostly talk about uh, performance. We also talk about cost and because these two things are major. But what are the other benefits that especially this collaboration bring uh, we can talk about observability, we can talk about compliance, other factors which may not directly contribute to performance improvement or cost reduction, but they play a very critical role in business operation and business continuity. Well, cost containment uh, is certainly paramount. When, when we talk to our customers about how they define success of any migration, it is cost. The next set of issues, as you said, are around continuous visibility. Probably the most important that you didn't mention is continuous security. As these mission critical applications migrate to the cloud, it isn't just about application, um, uh, reducing the risk and vulnerabilities in the application. We have tools today to help do that. We have products um, like uh, Azul Intelligence Cloud, which can provide uh, real-time information about the vulnerabilities in your existing applications that are running in either on-prem, uh, hybrid cloud or multi-cloud. Um, but the most important thing is also the containers themselves, understanding the vulnerabilities and really thinking about the cloud as not a one-time push around security. It's getting the mentality of continuous security. What you have to do on almost a nightly basis to ensure 
that the application and the container uh, are secure. 